。大熊猫，还有海王。有<笑><笑>。<笑>
or you can keep it in the soup for maybe two to three seconds and then get it out. Let's do that. Good. One, two, three. Mm. Thank you. It's like very crispy and it also soak in some of like the soup broth and it's to a point it's not soggy. It still holds the crunchiness. You wanna try? Yeah, sure. One, One two, two, three. three. Get it out. Nice. Even if you just dip it in, you have the soup base, like the broth flavor infused with your. That is good. It is really, really good. Like I would eat this by itself, by like tell ya. This is really good. Yeah, that's good. But why not? Yeah. Oh, so this is a special item. So this is a uh, cuttlefish paste. So these are cuttlefish meat. What you need to do, because it's a paste form, there's like a little knife. And just think how much you want to eat. And you just cut it and then like scoop it. Scoop it and you, and you drop, drop it, it to the broth. And, and you just, just heat it. Later. Alright guys, we're back at it. We're gonna eat the cuttlefish. The handmade cuttlefish. Dump it in the sauce. The sauce. How do you like it? Ooh. Let me try. It's bouncy. It's, it's so fluffy. It's fluffy. Also the freshness of fish. It's like that thing. Man, there you go. European. It's like that, but like soft, like softer. Softer. Because like the processed meatball is actually more chewy, but this one is soft. It's like when you eat steamed fish. Steamed fish just kind of melt in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, that's kind of the texture, I would say. Right now, uh, we are done our main course. It's dessert. Dessert. So this is Dan's favorite. It's the deep fried steamed bun. Steam bun. You can tell it's like really crunchy. And this is the condensed milk. Don't forget to dip it. Okay. How do you like it? Mmm. It's good. So the inside is a steamed bun, and then they just kind of deep fry it. So it's a outer crunchy fried feel. cruncher, crunchy feeling. And I like how they have the condensed milk. To make it a little sweet, so there's a little bit of contrast. Mm. And then you have the condensed milk, which is a little bit of sweet when it touches your tongue. Mmm. Mm. Wow, you eat your stash. <laughs> it's good. Mm. So normally, um, I think mango pudding is a typical after meal dessert. Mm -hmm. Chinese restaurant would offer it, and the blueberry one is a little bit more unique. It's different, you yeah. You don't really see it everywhere. Shall we just dig in? Yeah, let's go ahead. Blueberry? I can taste like the blueberry skin. Actually, it's milky. And it's pretty mild. It's not like sweet, sweet. So they probably might have used like a skim milk. Yeah, I don't I think, think it's so. not. It's not as like fat as a milky, but it's very light and smooth. The taste, yeah. Just like uh, the broth, everything is like oh, heavily salty. spiced. Yeah. But then after that, you just want something to kind of like reset your taste. Soothing. Yeah. It's definitely very soothing. It goes refreshing. down to like your stomach really well. Mm. <laughs> I'm moving on to the mango one. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Condensed milk. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's see. This is classic. Mm. I love it. You can't go wrong with mango. Is it in focus? So overall, I think uh, our dining experience is really good. The owner has a nice little chat with us. Even though they're really busy because after 9 o'clock, it's 20% off. And it's just pretty crowded, but the server is always joyful, always like willing to help. They would check on you from time to time. They even help some customers teach them how to use chopstick properly. The, the food quality itself, it speaks for itself. So there's nothing that you really need to worry about. It's just come here with an open mind, try out the different foods and flavors and see what you really like. There's no right or wrong way of eating. Uh, I think at the end of the day, just have fun with hot pot. And also one thing, yeah. uh, normally I got food coma because the soup base in some places, they have a lot of MSG. Mm. But here, I'm still widely awake. See you guys next time. So that's about it. Chili hot pot, little bites of YHG. Let's go. Thank you.